Uh, international community has a very important role in the process of uh, development uh, and risk management. Um, first of all, um, uh, we say in the report that uh, unmanaged risks do not recognize boundaries. And financial crises and pandemics, once, once uh, initiated, they can circle very quickly around the globe in an interconnected world. And uh, failing to address these risks, in fact, poses a significant challenge uh, to the goals that the international community is trying to achieve, uh, ranging from uh, reducing extreme poverty into boosting shared prosperity and ensuring that uh, the income distribution around the world is as equal as, as it can be. Uh, but these risks cannot be handled alone by agents uh, or, or countries. And we argue in the report that um, uh, such risks, handling, managing these risks, uh, require uh, the existence of international community, uh, not only for cross-border risks, but uh, also for risks that are just too large for a country uh, to deal with on its own. Um, so, uh, in the report, we argue that the international community can support the risk management process by uh, providing and disseminating global knowledge and expertise, uh, by um, uh, facilitating collective action across nations in order to implement um, uh, rules that may actually reduce the probability and severity of uh, uh, these risks, uh, also by supporting the capacity uh, to cope with a, with a crisis that um, uh, provide um, facilitating the global um, uh, resources in order to help the countries that uh, suffer these risks. The World Development Report uh, argues that the international community has not been very effective in uh, managing risks that cross uh, uh, national boundaries. And there are a number of important constraints that uh, undermine the effectiveness of uh, its involvement. Uh, these range from the lack of resources and lack of capacity that uh, some poor countries, developing countries, still face, uh, cognitive and behavioral failures, uh, in understanding how these uh, risks emerge and how it can be managed. Uh, in addition, political economy constraints and some uh, diverging national interests that uh, provide an obstacle to collective action. Uh, the World Development Report 2014 uh, argues that uh, scaling up risk management requires a cohesive international community which share common goals and enable its actors to move um, collectively, uh, including by uh, facilitating sharing of information, by moving, uh, putting more resources into capacity building, and by protecting the most vulnerable. In fact, uh, in Indonesia in 2004, uh, the international assistance uh, worked together with the national authorities in order to uh, restruct, um, establish uh, early warning systems and rebuild uh, infrastructure in order to reduce the vulnerability to future risks. So it's, a, it's one of the very successful uh, experiences. Um, but the international community also needs to be able to have the capacity uh, to um, uh, engage and enforce uh, international agreements uh, through some creative mechanisms. Uh, even when some of the uh, countries, because of the diverging incentives that they have, um, are unwilling to cooperate.